the assignment. Monday is Assignment Day, where food, commercial and landscape photographer Chris Orange returns as our special guest to set a photography challenge or a, a way to think about your picture making for the next week. And you may have to call upon a bit of courage for this one, depending upon how you feel about the cover of night. It's a challenge for everyone, whatever kind of photography interests you, whatever camera you hold, film or larger format or DSLR, mirrorless, compact and perhaps smartphone. It's all about the picture you see. It could be a challenge, I'm thinking, for the, for the more humble camera phone today. We'll see, as our parents used to say. Or maybe not. <laughs> as the darkness may. As uh, always, there's a show page on the website, photowalk.show, and I'd love you to share the pictures you make for this challenge, which I can then upload to the show page for this edition. And you can check back, of course, to see pictures from previous editions. And before we meet Chris, my thanks to our wonderful patrons and mpb.com, who sponsor this show, the number one company in the UK, the US and Europe, with bases in Brighton and Brooklyn and Berlin when it comes to buying and selling and trading quality used camera kit online. It's a safe place to do business with guarantees upon what you buy. A look ahead to the photo walk uh, this week. My guest is Lindsay Billing, Anne, and I think I'm accurate in saying so and she won't mind me telling you, self-taught self-guided, self-funded at times, investigative journalist and photographer who spends much time finding and telling stories in Afghanistan with all the challenges that brings. As we know, Afghan journalists have just been, you know, completely cuffed at every turn in, in terms of reporting on their own country. So it's been super difficult and it, it gets more and more difficult and I never know if I'm going to get get told I, I can't continue my work anymore. Lindsay Billing on Friday's Photo Walk Show. Let's meet our guest for today then, setting you a challenge for the new week. It's Chris Orange. The assignment. Chris, it's a second assignment from you. Uh, yep. This one, we're throwing you out of your depth. We're throwing you to the lions. We're throwing away your comfort blanket. I hope I'm not going over the top, but roughly that's what we're doing. Isn't it? <laughs> well, I grew up around artists. Um, I came to photography really through someone who was watching um, my mother and my um, my granddad particularly, who were incredible painters, but also my mum is incredible at all kinds of different um, artistic expressions um, involving craft, everything. And so for me, my palette was very much the palette of um, looking at artists' work. Ah. So I approached landscape photography particularly through that kind of style in, in my head. Mm. And I know it's very easy to become very used to one style. And you become used to the way you shoot. You might shoot street photography and you do the same thing over and over again. And same for landscape. You know, people shoot the same sunset over and over and over again and mm. don't actually think outside of that box. Well, today, I want us to spend um, a week shooting completely different to how we've shot before and for this style i want us to go out into the darkness and to take a torch <laughs> and to put your camera on a tripod yep. or on something a rock anything right. on a long exposure in the darkness you're going to need to experiment and find the bulb mode yep. on your camera possibly and really start thinking technically how do i shoot long exposures with manual focus in the dark yep. and take a torch and paint your subject with light now i tried this i've done it a few many times but i tried it at a dirtle door which is for those Ooh. who don't know it's a um a feature in the landscape in Dorset, which is a big archway just slightly into um into the sea. Uh, yeah. In the bay. Yeah. yeah. And it's a beautiful place to photograph. Yeah. I've shot it at sunset, sunrise. I've been there loads of times. But I wanted to go there in the middle of the night. Um, I went with a mate and we went in the middle of the night and we took our torches and the Milky Way was above. Yeah. And we thought, you know what? We kind of forgot it was going to be dark. <laughs> That's a silly thing to say, but we forgot we wouldn't be able to see the, the dead or door. <laughs> and so uh, we had these torches. And I was like, you know what? I had a seriously powerful torch. Let's just paint this thing with light and yeah. see how it turns out. And we ended up with these really fun pictures of the dirtle door painted with lights yeah. with the Milky Way coming out the top of it. And I think it's, 
a really good discipline because you've got to think about manual focus, how to focus uh, infinity. You've got to think about how much light to use before you overexpose your photo. You've got to think about keeping your camera still because you don't want to move it because you end up not seeing the tripod image. Tripod then, tripod, yeah. And your tripod or a rock or something if you haven't got a tripod. And so you are experimenting yeah. with obviously then your shallowest depth of field to let the most light in as you can um now if you shoot under 30 seconds then you can just keep it in aperture priority um whereas if you are going to go longer then you're going to have to put it in bold mode and maybe use a shutter release cable so it comes with it lots of challenges which you're going to need to get your head around but it's so much fun because you can even just go into a car park in the dark and just wave a torch around and you can write someone's name you could all kinds of things you can do that just create a different style of photo um, than you've done before. Now, um, you've reminded me, my my eldest son, Jack, he is doing his Duke of Edinburgh at the moment. And uh, for their walks and stuff that they're doing, we bought him... I mean, it, it, it's a torch that honestly, this thing can can light up the moon. <laughs> yeah, that's what it feels like. But it's also exceptionally yeah. focused. It's, it, it, I mean, it shouldn't be. It should just spread light. Out. I don't know how it does it, but it, it's quite a focused light. Yeah. Uh, and I took it out into the mist this morning because we had lo- a load oh, of mist wow. this morning, and it was just it was a little bit too light. And I'm not sure whether it would have qualified for this particular challenge because it was getting too light. But I, I did think, oh, I bet in the and I you know isn't this weird that we're talking about this now I thought in in the night I just that shaft of light lighting yeah. something up would be really interesting yeah mm. yeah and you're almost creating your own lighthouse because yeah. that's really if you shoot a lighthouse at night time you yeah. just get that amazing yeah. beam of light across the sky I'll tell you what though I'm not taking it into a graveyard <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> I've watched too many horror films it's spoiled you it you create from... some very scary movies <laughs> yeah great yeah. great assignment so it's in the dark this one isn't it I think so yeah Yeah. i mean to to get the image really properly right you need darkness otherwise you just get a lot of light pollution Mm -hmm. you know you'd be amazed how much the camera picks up any light that's around um especially a good lens a a wide aperture so yeah darkness and then it relies on you to paint trial and error take a few times to get it right but i can't wait to see what you get and that's our challenge for this week i'll be delighted to see what you produce And we'll love to show them on today's corresponding show page on the website, photowalk.show. One thing I didn't mention before, which I think is important, now you know what the challenge is. Be sure to be safe wherever you're going with this challenge, uh, particularly given that uh, we're asking you to, to make your photographs in the dark. Music on the show is from artslist.io. Neil Ford, Emily Renier and Andrea Gilpin thank you for your support behind the scenes and I look forward to photographing with you, hearing from you and talking with you on the photo walk. The assignment is a Loading Zone production.